why are government members and government policies being designed to scapegoat those people who decided for whatever reason that they either didn't want or couldn't take the vaccine? We have the highest vaccination rates in Europe, and I'd like to commend all of the hard-working staff in all of our vaccination centres who have been very competent in their rolling out of the vaccine programme. The constant scapegoating of the unvaccinated does not stand up to scrutiny or evidence and is completely unwarranted. Every time we see evidence of a failure in government policy, the narrative shifts to find the, lace, the latest random thing to blame it on. There has yet to be any evidence presented which shows that vaccine passports actually serve any purpose in preventing transmission. In fact, recent studies have shown that a vaccinated person is every bit as likely to transmit this virus as a non-vaccinated person. Therefore, why are government continuing to divide society on this basis? Some of the language used by government ministers Deputy, over the last few false, weeks when really talking about the unvaccinated have been very discriminatory and anti-vax information like this in the chamber. You, you, the thank you, Lars Kian Corla. Thank you, Lars Kian Corla, with the clock. It's just, it's just and totally, I, I know you can come so back. So damaging in terms of the anti-vax campaign. Sorry, there's nothing anti-vax about some of the constituents contacting me. They are contacting me, unable to take a vaccine, the stupidity of telling people they can attend weddings without certs, they and the same people then cannot actually go out and go to a restaurant the next day, yet because they're being labelled as unvaccinated. Your date on vaccines uh, Minister, is false, Deputy. there is a lot about your policies that le leave to be desired. Apologies, last count,